What if there was a seed stage incubator for Web3 projects? I'm talking about someone who's gonna take the most promising decentralized applications and guide them in an organized manner through all the complex legal steps and entrepreneurial stages that you need to move beyond that fragile little embryo. Well, on Radix there is, and it's called the Radix Grants Program. Last week they announced their first six winners of this prestigious designation. Those lucky projects are each gonna be getting 30 grand in XRD, as well as regular training, mentorship, and office hours, all to help them complete the compliance, testing, security, and legal headaches needed to grow. Plus, they're gonna get to demo their projects at Consensus, the largest and most well-known Web3 mega conference, which is being held in Austin, Texas this April. Now, I'm gonna briefly look at each and every one of these projects. I wanna see what they've done so far, their vision for how they expect to impact the Radix network, and most importantly, I'm gonna to try to answer why they deserve to be a grant winner. If you're watching this, then you're the type of person who wants to see Web3 go mainstream, and you probably realize that there's only one network out there that can realistically accomplish this. So do me a favor, click on the like and subscribe buttons down below, and let me show you some more great Radix content. All right, first in the chamber, we've got Alphadex. Alphadex, no social media, no website. This one is our mystery project. All we know is that this is a decentralized exchange that wants to crush the centralized exchanges. Other DEXs like Uniswap or DYDX are starting to implement some of the features needed for high frequency trading, but with the silly gas fees, slow transaction finality, and messy security of Ethereum, it's an uphill battle. That's why Alphadex founders decided to build on Radix. Yep, four years ago, they discovered this network and realized that it was the only place to build an order book DEX. If you're not familiar, that means that the prices are set by actual buyers and sellers, not just some algorithm like most DEXs use. They wanted to build a place where traders could execute complex strategies and utilize advanced financial products without having to trust a centralized authority. And after the implosion of FTX, we all realized that trusting an unaudited <clears throat> Binance central authority with your tokens will inevitably lead to a crash. But high frequency traders need access to futures markets, stop losses, limit orders, margin trading, and so much more and they needed to be cheap and fast. And this is why they got a grant, because Radix is the only network that can securely and efficiently handle this, and successfully completing this mission could bring in a flood of new users. As soon as more info is out on Alphadex, I'll be doing a deep dive on it. In fact, I'm gonna do a deep dive on every one of these projects, so watch for the link up in the corner. I'll put it there as soon as the long form video is live. But for now, let's load up chamber number two with some Photon. Photon is all about NFTs. Buying NFTs, selling NFTs, swapping NFTs, and creating NFTs. See, Photon isn't just a marketplace for the non-fungible side of Web3, it's a development suite for NFTs. Right now, it's mostly about the Photon token and the Tesseract NFTs, but they are building tools that will make it easy to create NFTs for artwork, gaming, communities, and much, much more. Instead of writing and auditing pages of smart contract code for every NFT project, you'll be able to use their tools to produce the NFTs and focus your energy on the project instead of the tech behind it. It's sort of like a web page building tool, but for NFTs. Now the Tesseract that I mentioned is their highly ambitious NFT base layer project. The complete collection is gonna feature over 120,000 different NFTs with 60 different versions. These are gonna serve as a starting point for other projects to build with Photon together and they can unlock special benefits. The Tesseracts are being airdropped to the community for a variety of different tasks. In fact, a lot of these different grant projects I'm going over have an airdrop component. I'll be sharing more on this with the students of my airdrop masterclass. If you wanna join, go to getmyfreecrypto.com and sign up today. But hurry, it's free for the moment, but I don't know how much longer that's gonna last. Okay, on to cylinder number three, Hermes Protocol. Hermes is solving a serious problem that I have not seen addressed on any other network, and that's communication. To be completely transparent, the current tech isn't really doing much that's original, but their vision sure is. 
Okay, so right now, Hermes offers a notifications API. This allows you to set up a messaging feed for Discord or for your website that'll get you updates of events that happen on Terra or Radix. Now, as I said, this exists for other networks. If you've ever been in an NFT community on Ethereum, you've probably seen price updates in their Discord, whale watches or updates when a project starts selling fast. These are the same type of events on Radix and Terra, but that is just the starting point for Hermes. The real dream is to put together wallet to wallet direct messaging, direct NFT sales, and in wallet notifications. Think of it like text messaging, only directly to your Radix wallet. If this existed on Polygon or on Solana, it would just turn into a complete spam fest. But it makes sense on Radix, since Radix is the only network out there to let you put real limits on your wallet. With Radix, you can stop people from sending you assets that you don't want. But that could leave you missing out on airdrops and other special offers that you do want. Well, a little in-wallet message can let you know about this. This also opens up other cool things like if there's a specific NFT that you wanna buy, you can reach out to the owner and ask about it, and then make a direct swap through the Hermes protocol, cutting out the OpenSea fees. Or if a project that you own is dropping a new series, they can send over a direct message to offer you a chance to be a first buyer. It's something that's well overdue on other networks, but it doesn't exist because of the spam factor, which is why it's a perfect fit for Radix. All right, on to chamber number four, another decentralized exchange, but with a very different goal, Caviar Swap. Now, Caviar Swap does have an exchange interface, and they also integrate with DSOR, which optimizes trades across multiple Radix DEXs. But what they really do that's special is create liquidity. See, if you're building a DEX and someone wants to swap some XRD token for Floop, the native token of Caviar Swap, you're gonna need a pool of assets with Floop and XRD. That way when they buy Floop, they can deposit XRD into the pool and take the Floop out. Now these liquidity pools are a fundamental thing of all decentralized exchanges. In a normal pool structure, if you wanna provide liquidity, you have to deposit both tokens. But Caviar Swap allows both traditional two-sided and they added one-sided pools. See, in a normal liquidity pool structure, you have to deposit an equal amount of XRD and Floop. And this can be costly and difficult, limiting the number of people who can provide liquidity. That's why they're offering single-sided liquidity. In this case, you could deposit just your XRD and choose Ida and Floop. Now the other side of my pair is a blend of these tokens, thus providing me some protection through diversification and making it simpler for me to provide liquidity. Because yes, there are some risks to providing liquidity, but those are way beyond the scope of this video. By providing liquidity, I get a cut of the fees for every swap deposited back to me. Right now, 80% of the fees from any Caviar Swap pool are getting redeposited back to the liquidity provider in the form of Floop tokens. And thus, this is the primary function of Caviar Swap. They allow other decentralized exchanges like OC Swap or Radix Planet to use their liquidity pools for transactions, making it much easier to start a new decentralized exchange since you don't have to create all these pools all over again and bring in all that capital. And this is why they got a grant, because every network needs liquidity. All right, loading up chamber number five, we have the last of our decentralized exchanges and the largest in terms of volume, OC Swap. OC Swap was founded back in 2021 and it is the premier exchange on the Radix network. It handles around $250,000 and about 3,500 swaps every single week. It also features nearly 20 different trading pairs and has almost $2.5 million locked up in value. Their goal is to provide a user-friendly one-stop shop for all Radix tokens. And so they're constantly adding new partnerships, like a recent one with Impala, who provides launch pad services for new tokens, and Switch here, who they teamed up with to create this site called Buy XRD. Now here you can purchase XRD tokens directly with your debit card or swap from other tokens with a Switch here wallet. They're also integrated with numerous Radix wallets like Zydar and Switch here, and they regularly offer pool bonuses for the liquidity. So. If you've been thinking about locking up some Doge Cube, you might want to take a peek here first. They've got some great rates. And last of all, in chamber number six, we have the biggest buzz of the year, XRD domains. You've probably seen the crazy value and flooding in around the Ethereum name service. Well, this is basically the Radix name service, providing .xrd domains for all kinds of different Radix projects. 
A few weeks back, they kicked off the land rush by allowing people to claim their free XRD domains and had to shut it down the next day. Within 24 hours, they were completely overwhelmed and could not handle the volume, which is a really good sign. Now, in case you missed out, they just opened up an appeals process a few hours ago. So follow the FAQ and you can submit any information you want to get your custom XRD Web3 domain. And that's it for the six winners of the Radix Grants program. Two decentralized exchanges, a liquidity provider, an NFT development suite, a Web3 messaging protocol, and a Web3 domains. And that's a pretty cool lineup overall. These are all necessary components for a successful decentralized protocol. Since all these are new, there's usually little tidbits of information that hide out there in the digital world. Now, if you've got some great nugget of info on any of these projects, please do me a favor and leave it in the comments down below so I don't miss it when I do the deep dive videos. If you happen to have stumbled across this video while you're looking for new projects, you might not get what all the buzz is around Radix. If that's the case, I'm here to show you an ultra fast, infinitely scalable, incredibly secure, easy to code, user-friendly blockchain. All you have to do is click right up here.